Hi, I'm Christine Niles. Before we get into today's headlines, I'd like to remind you, you can watch headlines and many other videos over at churchmilitant.com. We have The Vortex with Michael Voris, The Download with Michael, Simon, Brad, and me, and many hundreds of hours of premium content. We also have the latest, most relevant Catholic news and commentary and articles posted daily on our site at churchmilitant.com. So please click on the link after this video and we'll see you over at our site. Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's Monday, March 26, 2018. Here are your latest church militant headlines. A Vatican document on youth is calling for a more open and inclusive church. The fruit of a week-long Vatican meeting with 300 young adults, the document published Saturday cites so-called polemical issues like contraception, abortion, homosexuality, cohabitation, and marriage, saying that young people, quote, may want the church to change her teaching, or at least have access to a better explanation and to more formation on these questions. Some traditional leaning youth, however, are complaining that their voices were shut out and ignored in the final document. Pro-life leaders are slamming Congress over broken promises. Friday, U.S. lawmakers angered right-to-life advocates by voting to preserve funding for Planned Parenthood, while rejecting conscience protections for doctors who refuse to perform abortions. After the vote, Tom McCluskey of March for Life described Congress as broken, warning that until Congress repairs itself, pro-life priorities like defunding Planned Parenthood won't pass. Anti-Catholic bigotry was on display at Saturday's March for Our Lives. As thousands of leftist activists descended on D.C. to demand gun control, Signs were seen mocking the Catholic faith of Senator Marco Rubio, shown with a bloody cross on his forehead in mock imitation of the ashes Catholics wear on Ash Wednesday. The slogan instead reading, hashtag Ash Bloody Wednesday. The anti-Catholic sentiment drew widespread condemnation on social media. A new report is showing Islam is slated to become the dominant religion among young adults in the UK. Based on data from a survey taken from 2014 to 2016, Findings show that 7% of 16 to 29-year-olds in the UK identify as Anglican, while 6% identify as Muslim. If the trends continue, Islam will soon surpass the Church of England. Meanwhile, young adult Catholics outnumber Anglicans, with 10% practicing the Catholic faith in the UK. A Vatican priest is blasting rampant sexual immorality in society and inside the Church. In his March 23rd Lenten meditation, Father Renero Contralamessa, preacher of the papal household, told Pope Francis and the Roman Curia, quote, We live in a society that has fallen back into full-blown paganism and full-blown idolatry of sex. The daily news of abuses and scandals, including among members of the clergy and religious, remind us of this bitter reality. The papal preacher called for a return to purity under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about Irish Blarney. And check out the download, where the panel discusses the passion of the church. God bless you. Thanks for watching Headlines today, and if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can watch Headlines along with the Vortex and free episodes of the download. And even better, watch all of those videos along with many hundreds of hours of premium content over at our website, churchmilitant.com. We're also on Facebook and Twitter, Church Militants there, Michael Voris is there, and I'm there. You can follow me on Twitter at Christine Niles one. That's Christine Niles, all one word, and the number one. I do read your tweets and I do enjoy interacting with followers. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you over at churchmilitant.com. God bless.